Decred is a community-driven cryptocurrency project designed to deliver a truly decentralized, fair, and sovereign alternative to traditional money. With a hybrid consensus mechanism and sector-leading governance structure, it is designed to be secure, adaptable, and sustainable. In this video, we'll take a deeper look at Decred and learn more about this intriguing cryptocurrency project. Hi guys, my name is AG Hunter, and my goal is to help you make good investment decisions by providing quality analysis of cryptocurrency projects. If you like what you see in this video, please hit like and subscribe. Also, if you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave a comment below and I will get back to you. I have to admit from the start that I've always had a soft spot for Decred. I wrote my first article on this project back in 2017 and I've held some tokens ever since. I think the fundamentals for this project are fantastic and the innovation shown by the Decred community over the past four years is compelling. That said, it's not a project without weaknesses, the most obvious being that it's competing in an incredibly crowded segment of the cryptocurrency marketplace. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the world of Decred and have a look at the project's purpose, some of the fascinating innovations the team have developed, and where Decred fits into the broader cryptocurrency landscape. Before we start, I need to make my standard disclaimer that I'm not a financial advisor. All investments are inherently risky and you should do your own research before making any investment decisions. The first thing you need to understand about Decred is that it is what I would call a pure cryptocurrency. By this, I mean that it is seeking to compete with coins like Bitcoin to serve as a store of value and a medium of exchange. The project's origins go way back to 2013, when several anonymous early Bitcoin developers published a white paper for a concept called Memcoin 2. Even as early as 2013, it was clear that there were some significant problems with the Bitcoin protocol, most notably issues with the way in which the network was governed. Memcoin 2 was seen as an improved version of Bitcoin, which aimed to overcome some of these issues. Memcoin 2's early proponents approached another Bitcoin developer, Jake Yakumpiat, and from this collaboration, Decred was born. The initial development process took approximately two years, with the Decred mainnet launching in February 2016. The problems with Bitcoin centered predominantly around its governance mechanism. Bitcoin was intended as a truly decentralized network, with no overarching governance structure. As a result, there is no formal mechanism to allow changes to be made to the Bitcoin protocol itself. This creates problems as it is very difficult to make improvements to the existing network. Bitcoin in 2021 is largely the same product that was first developed and launched in 2009. You might not think that this presents an issue given how successful Bitcoin has been throughout its history. While it's beyond the scope of this video to go in depth on the weaknesses of Bitcoin, Bitcoin is not without problems. The fact that these problems haven't caused issues to date doesn't mean that they won't in the future. The lack of a clear mechanism to develop and implement improvements to the Bitcoin network is arguably the biggest issue that Bitcoin faces. Decred sought to solve the governance problem by implementing a hybrid proof-of-work, proof-of-state consensus mechanism. This reduces the power of miners in the network and also explicitly builds a governance structure into the protocol itself. Decred's governance mechanism is the hero of this story and the reason why I believe that Decred makes a compelling investment. To fully understand it, however, you need to understand a few other things about the protocol, including how Decred achieves block consensus in order to fully understand how governance works in the Decred community. Decred employs a hybrid proof-of-work, proof-of-state consensus mechanism. Proof-of-work is conducted for Decred the same as it is for Bitcoin, with miners solving cryptographic problems to earn block rewards. In addition to the proof-of-work mining, Decred also employs a proof-of-state consensus structure where members of the Decred community act as validators of each mined block. Community members stake their Decred tokens in order to have the opportunity to participate as a block validator. Community members who act as block validators are selected at random from the pool of all qualified stakers. In the Decred community, staking is undertaken through the purchase of what are known as tickets. Each ticket requires a certain number of tokens to be staked, and once you own a ticket, you are eligible to be selected as a block validator, thus earning a portion of the block reward. This process also gives you the right to vote on proposals brought before the community. This hybrid system achieves a number of things, including increasing the security of the network as each validator is chosen at random from the pool of all available validators. Decred community members are also able to earn rewards and participate in the network without the need to maintain expensive mining equipment. Decred also incorporates a clever mechanism for ensuring that development work on the Decred network continues into the future. In a pure proof-of-work network such as Bitcoin, 100% of the block reward that is earned for mining a particular Bitcoin block goes to the miner. In Decred's hybrid system, only 60% of the block reward is paid to the miner as the reward for generating each block. 30% is paid to the validators who validate that the block is correct, and the final 10% is paid into what is known as the Decred Treasury to fund future development work. I'll spend a bit more time discussing the Decred Treasury later in the video, but it's important to highlight here that this provides a continuous and ongoing source of funding for improving the network over time. You've heard me say that Decred's governance structure is the hero of the story. I'll now explain why. Bitcoin's governance is problematic because there is no formalized governance mechanism built into the protocol. This means that in order to get a change made to the way in which the Bitcoin network operates, you have to convince the majority of miners that the change is worthy of implementation. 
and then convince those same miners to actually implement the change across the network. History has shown that this is exceedingly difficult to achieve. In situations where no consensus can be reached about a particular change, you end up with what are known as hard forks, where those developers who are unsatisfied with the given direction of the blockchain fork off their own currency. This is how we end up with the creation of other forms of Bitcoin, such as Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Diamond, and Bitcoin SV. This is an inherent weakness in the way in which Bitcoin operates. Forking does a number of negative things to the network by increasing both uncertainty and complexity. One thing that all investors seek is certain. So if Bitcoin truly aims to be the disruptive digital currency that Satoshi envisaged, then uncertainty and complexity have the potential to be significant hurdles. They are barriers to entry, so to speak. Decred was founded specifically to overcome this weakness. The founders prioritized having a single chain with no forking as one of the key defining principles of the Decred network, and they implemented what was at the time an innovative and unique governance structure to achieve this. What was this governance structure? It's a DAO, which stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. I spoke a little bit about these in my review of the Acropolis project, so I won't go into too much detail in this video, other than to say that whilst the term DAO is reasonably well understood in cryptocurrency circles in 2021, it was a new and innovative concept in 2016 when this project was launched. Here we come to the first thing that really sets Decred apart from its competitors. Decred has a working DAO, and that DAO has been in operation for several years. There was a lot of hot air about DAOs in 2020, most specifically in the DeFi space, with just about every every project claiming to be able to implement a DAO in one form or another to solve the governance challenge. Very few of these projects have been successful in achieving this. That's not to say that they won't be, but at this stage the successes have been few and far between. Well, Decred has a DAO that's been up and running for years and it's working well. The Decred DAO serves two primary purposes. The first is to achieve consensus about changes to the protocol before those changes are recommended to the network. This is how Decred avoids forking. If a community member wishes to propose a change to the Decred network, then they put forward a proposal on the DAO's internal decision-making tool called Politea, and community members are able to vote on whether or not this change will go ahead. If the proposal is successful and community members support the change, then it is implemented. This is very different to the Bitcoin network, where miners hold all the cards and are often the most significant obstacle to change. The second thing that the DAO achieves is that it manages the Decred Treasury. As I mentioned earlier, 10% of every block reward is paid into the Decred Treasury to fund future development work for the project. These funds are administered by the community via the DAO. Just like changes to the Decred protocol itself, if a community member wishes to advocate for a particular development to take place, they are able to raise a proposal justifying their project to the community. If enough community members support the proposal, then it is approved and the funds become available from the Decred Treasury to fund the project's execution. This means that there is a steady and consistent stream of developers working on this project because they are able to do so and they are also able to get paid. Many open source projects flounder when developers lose interest and move on to other projects. In the case of Decred, because you are able to be active in the community and be rewarded for your effort, this ensures that there is a consistent stream of development and innovation taking place. Some of the developments which have been funded by the Decred Treasury include the development of a Decred-specific wallet, the implementation of a new privacy feature that enables users to maintain anonymity when using the network, and the launch of a decentralized exchange that allows users to trade Decred, Litecoin, and Bitcoin in a completely decentralized fashion. Projects funded by the Decred Treasury are also not limited to technical developments. Other projects that are seen as being valuable to the Decred community are also able to be proposed and approved. These include things like marketing initiatives that increase the awareness of the Decred network in the crypto currency community. This for me is the key advantage that Decred has over many of its peers. The Treasury and its associated governance mechanism achieve several things. Firstly, it provides sustainability of the project because there is a consistent and ongoing stream of funds available for developers to engage with and improve upon the existing Decred protocol. Secondly, it speeds innovation as developers want to work on this project because they are financially incentivized to do so. If you review the project's GitHub repository, you can see consistent work being done by the community to improve the protocol. It also means that if things change in the future and the cryptocurrency landscape changes in a way that requires Decred to make significant changes to the project, then funding exists to make sure that this work happens. I'll finish with the discussion of what I see as Decred's strengths and weaknesses. With regard to strengths, as you've probably already picked up on, I think that Decred's governance structure is a real difference maker. The idea that the crypto ecosystem is not going to change over time is naive, and therefore projects need a way in which they can ensure they maintain currency with market trends. Decred has an inbuilt mechanism to ensure that this happens through the DAO and its associated treasury. I think this will ensure that Decred remains relevant well into the future. As an extension of this, I really like the implementation of the DAO. This is how decentralized governance is supposed to work. And it's not just a concept, it's actually an action, and it's been working for several years. The team put their money where their mouth is, and it's a credit to them that this has worked so successfully. Decred is one of the few projects that I'm aware of which has successfully been able to implement these concepts and show that they can work for a reasonable period of time. This by itself makes Decred a compelling investment in my opinion. With regard to weaknesses, there are a few. Firstly, Decred is competing in a very crowded corner of the cryptocurrency ecosystem. Decred's competitors are the like 
likes of Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero, and Zcash. These are some of the real big boys of cryptocurrency. If you want to buy the Decred story, you have to believe that Decred provides a significant improvement over some of these other solutions. I think that it does, but it's worth noting that the competition is stiff. Secondly, Decred still incorporates proof-of-work mining. This is not a huge issue, but into the future, sustainability of these types of electricity-intensive consensus mechanisms is likely to be called into question. That said, the existence of the Treasury and the Politea decision-making tool means that if it ever got to a point where proof-of-work mining became unsustainable, then this project has the ability to shift direction and change its path to meet the demands of the market. Finally, I think that Decred runs the risk of becoming a victim of its own success. As of the date of recording this video, you need to stake 161 Decred in order to have a say in the Decred decision-making process. At current market values, this is nearly $9,000 US worth of Decred. This is a significant amount of money. Markets have pumped quite significantly recently, so Decred is more expensive now than it has been at any time since 2018. But even if markets were to pull back somewhat, there's still a lot of money to stake to be able to engage with the community. This is certainly not a terminal failure, and it's also not unique to Decred. Ethereum has only just launched staking and is already encountering a similar situation. It could, however, be one reason why some people may choose not to engage with this project in the future if ticket prices remain at the current elevated level. So you're still here, which means you've watched all the way to the end. That must mean you like what you've seen. Please hit like and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the future. Also, if you have any feedback or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.